Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, I got another phone. And if you don't follow me on social media, you're probably like, why? Why did you get another phone? Because I got the 12 Pro Max like not too long ago and I'm still using the 12 Pro Max. This is still going to be my phone. The phone that I am showing you today is a phone that I have wanted since it came out over a year ago. But at the time I didn't want to spend $1,300 for it. And I just wasn't sure if I was ready to stray from iPhones because I've had iPhones since I was like 14. I'm not quite ready to like, spread my wings and fly away from iPhones kind of inching closer. But to be honest, I've been getting really tired of how boring Apple has become and how their new products really aren't that great. Um, I have a Mac computer back there and it was really expensive and it really sucks and it crashes all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just bored with Apple. They're not coming out with new innovative things. And I feel like this phone that I am showing you today is just so unique, so freaking cute. I love it. I have literally been just like going back to my roots, like early 2000s. I have been buying strawberry shortcake radios, Bratz dolls, Tamagotchis, and now I'm buying a flip phone. I'm just here for it. I'm here for it. And it makes me happy. So I'm going to be unboxing the Galaxy Z Flip for you guys today. It's basically a smartphone that is also a flip phone. And yeah, I grew up with flip phones. I didn't have one myself. I didn't get a phone until I was 13, but my mom always had like those, you know, pink razor flip phones that I used to play on when I was a kid pretending it was mine. So I just, I love flip phones. I think they're great. So I got some accessories for them. Not the, all the accessories have come in the mail yet. I did get like cute little charms and stuff from Etsy. So if this video is not uploaded by then, I will include that in this video too. A lot of you guys on Instagram have asked me where I bought this phone from and I did not buy this new. Um, I, From what I understand, Samsung does not make these phones anymore. I could be wrong though, but I bought this used on eBay. I was not going to pay full price for one of these phones, not to be my work phone. I don't know if I said it, but I bought this to be my work phone basically because I wanted to separate work from my personal life because I feel like my phone has just become work, 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 checking emails, social media, like all the time. So I wanted a specific phone that I could use for work. So that's what this is gonna be. So yeah, I bought this used on eBay for like the quarter of a price that you can find it brand new online. It has a couple scratches on it, but who cares? So let's just go ahead and open it. I have been waiting, like <laughs> I've been checking the tracking number like all day, every day since ordering it. All right, here we go. It did come from FedEx. And then within that bag, it is in a USPS bag, which is kind of funny. So like I said, I did buy this used, so it's not coming in, you know, the original box and everything like that, but here it is. I, you guys don't even understand how excited I am for this. Ooh, so we do have a Samsung box. It's just not the Z Flip box. So as you can see, it says Samsung, nice packaging from a used seller. This eBay seller had thousands of reviews and not one of them was negative. They were all five-star positive reviews. So if you do buy something from eBay, just make sure to check the reviews and make sure it's a good seller and you shouldn't be scammed or anything. I have personally never been scammed on eBay and I have used it for years. So I did get the 256 gigabyte in purple. I did buy it unlocked so I can get a SIM card from any phone company and get a SIM card for it. So let's go ahead and open it. I literally painted my nails the same color for the occasion. I'm stupid. It opens like this. Ooh. Okay, not very exciting, but <laughs> here we go. Here is the phone. And if you guys want me to do more videos where I like compare it to iPhones and stuff like that, definitely let me know. Cause a lot of you guys asked me if I could do that because you weren't sure if you should stray from having an iPhone, you know? We have a little business card in here. I'm guessing from the seller I bought it from, but here, is the phone. Um, I bought it used and there are no scratches on the screen and it said that there would be, but there are absolutely no scratches here. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like, I know it's just a phone guys. Like I'm being so dramatic, but this is used and it was so cheap compared to the new ones, but it doesn't have any scratches on it. Like I don't see any scratches on it. Okay, let's try to fold it. It says Samsung right there. There's no scratches there. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. It didn't come with a case. Normally when you get the Z Flip like brand new, it comes with a case that is like specifically for this phone, but I bought a separate one. So, oh my gosh. It's so small, like thin wise. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max and this is the Z Flip paired to each other. They almost look very identical. This one is just skinnier, but they are the exact almost the exact same length. 
as you can see. So not bad, it's just skinnier. It feels really awkward because it feels so much thinner in the hand than an iPhone would. But the flip, like I just miss having a flip phone where I was just like talking on the phone and then I was like, bye. Look how stunning this is. And the glare is probably super bad because I mean, there's a window, but yeah, it does attract a lot of fingerprints, but actually not as bad as people online made it out to be. It has USB-C charging, which is great since most systems nowadays are USB-C. So I have tons of those chargers already. The volume and power button on the right side. I had to like think of my left and right for a second. That was... Then we have a front camera and also the little screen that normally lights up right here. So let me just make sure there's nothing else left inside the box. I am so happy. I was expecting this phone to have like a bunch of scratches on it, but it almost looks brand new. So we have the little SIM card device tool and a quick start guide in the box. And then we have have the charging cable and the wall block as well, which is great. And that is all that I got with this seller used. Um, there's usually more stuff that would come in the box if you bought it brand new, but that's all that I got. That's all that I need. I love it. I am so excited for this. So let me show you the little accessories I bought for it. And then we are going to decorate it and then turn it on and see what it looks like. So you can't find very many cases for this phone online, at least very cute ones, but a lot of people, especially in like Korea and Japan and stuff, they just decorate a clear case with stickers, which is what I'm going to do. I noticed that these phones are very, very popular in K-drama and I love watching K-drama. So whenever I would see this phone while watching them, I would just die a little inside because I just knew one day I needed this phone and I'm living my dream right now. I love how compact it is. Like this would fit in my pocket so easily. Like I said, I did get a clear case because I do not want to drop this thing. I, I heard that the screen and shell of this phone breaks super easily and I just don't want that to happen. For it, it was the one that was best rated on Amazon. Honestly, a lot of the cases for this phone are not rated very well because like I said, this phone breaks very, very easily. And I also got a pack of Studio Ghibli stickers as well because I wanted to decorate this with the theme of Studio Ghibli, but these stickers are huge. I don't even know if any of them will be small enough to decorate this phone because uh, this phone is super small. All right, so let me just turn the camera around to a different angle and show me turning it on. And then I will also show me decorating it a little bit, but the fingerprint prints aren't really that bad on the phone as I thought it would be. Okay, I'm sorry the background is just my dingy carpet, but so let's just go ahead and turn this on, I guess. <gasps> Galaxy Z Flip and it vibrated. So let me open it up. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So yeah, it, I don't have a SIM card or anything for it yet. I wanted to make sure I really liked the phone before, you know, getting a SIM card for it but I keep tapping it like it's an iPhone and I haven't had anything but an iPhone for a very long time. So I don't really know how to act. Swipe to open. So I don't, I think I need to reset it. Yeah, I'm going to do a factory reset because I don't think they did it from the seller that I bought it from because it's still logged into somebody else's Samsung account. So let me just go ahead and reset the whole system real fast. Okay, I went through all of the Studio Ghibli stickers and there was only like three that would fit. So I'm going to use this one from Howl's Moving Castle with Hal and Sophie, because it actually fits the theme of the phone pretty well. And then I'm gonna use this Howl's Moving Castle one for the back. And then I found some old nail art stickers that I had of Totoro, and I'm going to put that on there as well. I also cut out this little piece of plastic that I'm gonna put the stickers on because I don't wanna put the stickers directly on the case or the phone. So this is what the stickers are going to go on. Literally this case sucks so badly, like it comes up, like you barely touch it and it just kind of raises off. Like you really have to like push it down. So I don't know if I'm gonna put a sticker on the back part yet because I want this back part of the case to, to stay on. And I feel like when I put stickers on it, it just doesn't work very well. Like even then, it's just not very, it's not a very good case. 
Like it slides off, as you can see. Like it, it just doesn't snap on very well. It's a very poorly done case. So I'm gonna have to try to see online if I can find a better case than this, but this was like the only one that was clear that I could find, which is frustrating. But yeah, it comes with a little charm connector right there so I can add a charm. All right, so this is what I have so far decoration wise. The case won't stay on very well, but I'm going to customize the actual, you know, phone part of it because I haven't really gone too much into detail with it or anything yet. I just set up like face recognition and stuff. So I want to customize the actual phone part too. So um, I'm going to update you guys in a couple days when I get some more stuff to decorate the front with. Okay, so it has been officially one full day since getting the Z Flip and I wanted to compare the battery life for you guys. I've been using both of my phones about the same amount of time. The screen time is about the same. Um, I've been doing pretty much the same things on each phone all day, um, like playing games, uh, watching videos, browsing social media, stuff like that. I'm currently watching a Twitch stream, but I have basically been doing the same thing and the battery life on my iPhone is definitely better. Um, I unplugged both of my phones at 8 this morning. It is currently 11.30 p.m. and my iPhone is at 57%. You probably can't see that. And the Z Flip is at 36%. As you can see, the iPhone does have better battery life, but for being unplugged for, you know, eight hours and continuously using it, 36% is actually really not that bad in my opinion. But I also didn't do like too much crazy stuff on the phone. I feel like if I was maybe playing more intense games or if I was on it a little bit more than usual, then maybe it would have changed the battery life. But so far the battery life is better on my iPhone. Um, this is not gonna be a whole video where I'm like comparing the two, but if you do wanna see a video where I compare this phone with the iPhone so you can decide if you want a Samsung or an iPhone, definitely let me know because I'm getting tons of messages from people asking me if I like Samsung better than iPhone and I'm kind of testing out the waters right now. I will show you guys more of like what the phone looks like um, when I have better lighting and stuff, but so far I am just really living for this phone. I have been using it pretty much nonstop and it is just amazing. And I also bought the Samsung BTS earbuds um, so I can use them with this phone. You can use AirPods with this phone too, but I wanted the Samsung earbuds because they came with photo cards. Yeah, I'll probably do an unboxing of that on my TikTok just cause like you can't really make an unboxing of headphones on YouTube really. It would just be kind of boring. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how the battery life is. Um, I think I have a couple more stuff decorative wise that's coming in the mail. I'm probably going to change this up to more of a K-pop theme just because I have a K-pop charm coming in the mail. So Okay guys, it has officially been a week since owning this phone and today I also got the BTS Samsung earbuds as you can see. And I did an unboxing of these on my TikTok if you guys are interested in seeing the unboxing for these. Um, my TikTok is in the description below. The username is Alyssa Nicole YT. It came with a like custom BTS theme, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we're gonna end the video. So here's the like amazingly beautiful box that the earbuds came in. Just wanted to show you them. But the back of this case actually came with a little NFC inside of it and it put a custom theme onto the phone. Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing. So here is what it looks like when you open up the phone. We've got this beautiful whale and it's animated and it just disappeared. And then that is the little screen that stays on all the time. And then this is the theme. So it's like stars, it has the BTS logo. If you want me to do a what's on my phone, I will and tell you guys like where I got all these widgets and everything like that. But the icons in the background are part of the theme that came with these headphones. And I believe you can only get this theme with the headphones. So that's what that looks like. I think the icons are absolutely beautiful. It doesn't add a theme to your text messages or anything like that, so that is not any different. It just adds a theme to the background. And then when you open up the earbuds, BTS pops up right there. <laughs> which is just super, super cute and adorable. And I love that custom touch. Dobby brought me a piece of food while I was filming. Thank you, Dobby, I appreciate it. So yeah, that was an unboxing and a little like first impressions of the Samsung Z Flip. I am 
completely obsessed with this phone and anybody who I have met in person is also obsessed with it as well. They make me like open it like eight times because it's just like crazy. Here's the back of it. If you guys would like me to do more videos on this phone, then definitely comment down below. I can do a what's on my phone or how to customize your phone. And I'm thinking of maybe getting the Samsung watch, but I'm not too sure yet. I still wanna do some more research on whether I want that or not because I do have an Apple watch, but I love this phone so much. I've been using it more than I've even been using my iPhone. I pretty much just use my iPhone on the side now. I text people and everything from this phone now too, just because I love it so much. All of these stickers I got online, um, Amazon, AliExpress, this was a photo card. These are little nail stickers and stuff. Same back here, we got little nail stickers. And I will put the Etsy shop down, <laughs> my dogs. I'll put Etsy shop on the screen of where I got this beautiful resin charm. My dog is licking the microphone, I'm sorry. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So my final review basically is that I love this phone. There are some differences with this phone that are with the iPhone. And the differences are pretty minuscule. I mean, it's not anything to make me like not want the phone anymore. But if you want me to do a video comparing this to an iPhone and whether you should get a Samsung or an iPhone, let me know. Yeah, some of those differences may make someone not want this phone compared to keeping an iPhone. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all of my other channels and my social media down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.